Hi, welcome to the ladies' room. I'm Angie. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Paige. Today we are honored to have Jane Giroux with us. You are a community volunteer. Obviously, everyone knows your name, and you're also an aspiring writer or a writer. No, actually. I like aspiring. <laughs> That's better. There's less pressure. For there that. we go. There we go. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you for inviting me. Now, obviously, you're known for being Miss Oklahoma, Miss America. Tell us about that experience. Well, it was it was really a, a unique experience. There had not been a Miss Oklahoma who'd won Miss America, I think in the history of what anyone could remember. Uh, and so for me to go from Laverne, Oklahoma, which has a population of about 2,000, to go to Atlantic City in the Miss America pageant and represent Oklahoma, uh, I was all by myself. My parents drove me, but no crowd, no no supporters. Uh, I had a group, a large group of support in Oklahoma, but very few people could, could come, fly or right. fly. I'd never flown in an airplane. I mean, I was very young, very unsophisticated, and won. So it was a huge surprise, wonderful experience. And as I look back these many years, I think one of the greatest gifts is the fact that even now, at least once a month, someone will tell me what they were doing what it meant to them wow. when I won. And I just think, oh, wow, you know, I just entered a contest. And, and, and then for it to mean something right. to so many people. So it was really, uh, oh, it was I a bet. great event. Now, I know volunteering is important to you. What sort of volunteer projects are you working on currently? Uh, I am on the board of the Oklahoma City Community Foundation, and I love the work that they do. Um, also very active at Oklahoma City University and my church, Church of the Servant, which is a Methodist church in Northwest Oklahoma City. Uh, Mercy Health Center, I'm on their board. And so just have such a variety of opportunities to be involved in the community, and this community does mean so much to me. And what a great time it is. Wow, everything is just going so well. You are busy. I am busy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, going back to Urena's Miss America, I was reading up and noticed that you uh, traveled to Vietnam. I did. To talk to the that troops. was the highlight of my year. Wow. It had been a dream. My father and all of my uncles served in World War II. And so I had grown up seeing movies and hearing stories and, and just the idea of being able to be on a USO tour and, and to go to that country and contribute in some way to what our men and women, you know, my friends and cousins, and uh, we're doing, we're sacrificing for this country. You know, this country made a call on the lives of those young men and women, and they answered the call. Yeah. And there was nothing political about that. Yeah. And so there were six of us that traveled to Vietnam for two weeks and really changed my view forever wow. of freedom and of those who serve. Wow. Have you, have you made any other travels overseas um, for any kind of charitable or community reasons? Or? Um, I traveled some as a journalist and uh, traveled as Miss America just every day. Went to Europe and Canada and, and every state but two. And I can't remember the two. One of them was Nevada, mm -hmm. but I can't remember the other. I think it was Maine. But uh, I, I've been blessed to travel so much in my life. Well, then tell us, okay, so from Miss America, where did that take you? Well, um, I got married and then had some really uh, unexpected things happen in my life and ended up at the age of 30, really broke and without a job and with a new baby wow. and was just desperate for a job. And I took a job with the State Department of Education and uh, kind of took a show that was a, kind of a throwaway television show and just worked on that and then got a call. There were no women news anchors at the time. Got a call from Channel 5 to audition to be wow. a broadcast journalist and it was such a good fit. I, wow. I had no idea if I could do it when I took wow. the job. I just needed the money, quite mm -hmm. honestly. And But it was such a great fit. I loved it. Wow. Okay, so what kind of experience was that, being the first woman in Oklahoma in, the, in our uh, viewing area? Well, I think there was a whole class of us because uh, Linda Cavanaugh and myself and Pam Vinneberg it was, is, was her name. She didn't use that name on the air. Okay. But we were kind of all about the same time, wow. but I was the first uh, primetime news anchor for Channel 5, wow. which was the ABC affiliate. What was interesting about that is I really kind of stumbled around and learned in a hurry. Uh, wow. My first co-anchor quit, as being girls will understand, <sighs> wow. because he didn't want to anchor 
with a woman and he wow. thought he would have to do all my work for me and of course oh. that wasn't the case at all wow my producer uh, which is interesting too uh, was Barbara Getty uh -huh. and she married a photographer Bill Getty and Bill is now the producer of The View yeah so uh, just wonderful history of people <clears throat> because I was uh, one of the first women I got offers from all over the country and wasn't interested in leaving Oklahoma except for one offer. I didn't apply for the job. Uh, a producer in our st uh, station sent a video to a Dallas station. Wow. And they, I was on that video and they called and kind of recruited me. And, nice. And it was, I, it was great fun. It, professionally, it was one of the highlights of my career oh, was to work at that station for four years loved it but missed Oklahoma so and you much came back. And I just came home you know this is some people can kind of have home wherever they are sure. uh, but this is truly home for me Oklahoma just means so much and my family mm -hmm. uh, was still in Laverne at the time but but my church here and my friends and my family yeah. I just wanted to come home and I knew I could do work here yeah. and so I came back and anchored for another 12, 14 years, and then uh, had some different jobs. And Good for you. I've had just a variety of things. It sounds like it. That's so exciting. Now, what sort of advice would you give a young woman wanting to anchor news or television? Well, I think it's changed a bit today because there are so many different opportunities uh, to work. I would say really pay attention to the fundamentals of what you learn. Be a good writer. Sometimes people don't realize the importance of writing and it's so important. You know, it's, it's you all don't just sit here, but mm -hmm. <laughs> you work in different ways. You research and you write and you produce and you need to be just as versatile as possible. And then I think the other thing that women have to consider uh, is if they want a family and how compatible is, you know, being a television news anchor can look really glamorous, but the reality is, mm -hmm. on a tele on an uh, O&O television station, right. you're working at 6 and 10. Does it take you, you have a husband yeah. and children, you know, I didn't put my son to bed most nights he was growing up. Uh, and I don't think it mattered to him because we had a great relationship mm -hmm. and a good family. It mattered to me. Yeah. And so I think those are the kinds of things that you need to consider when you're thinking about, yeah. you know, if is that exactly what you want? And right. I would really recommend being versatile in your skills mm -hmm. so that you can have some options, whether it's producing, writing, reporting, uh, because there's so many opportunities sure. today in the field. Uh, certainly something like this was unheard of a yeah. few years ago. You had mentioned earlier that you were working on a book. Yes, I've had some uh, some writing experience. Of course, all the years in television news, I, I wrote a lot for television and uh, have always loved writing. I've always kept a journal. And a few years ago, Bob Burke and the o Oklahoma Heritage Association, oh, I'm on their board, I should have mentioned that, I forgot. Well, there you go. Uh, there, I got it in, <laughs> so good. Uh, asked me if I'd like to write uh, a book about my life with him. And I was really reluctant. It just seemed presumptuous, you know, who'd want to read this? Mm -hmm. and, um, and I knew I couldn't just talk about the highlights if I was going to write it. I really needed, sure. had to tell the truth. Sure. And no one's life is all glitz and glamour and glory. Wow. Uh, if, if it is, they're not telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I did write that book, More Grace Than Glamour. Aww. And uh, it's, it's done very well. And I'm, I'm proud of it. I tell people just look at the pictures. Uh, <laughs> but I'm thrilled with, with the pictures and being able to talk about my family and my yeah. priorities. Um, then I wrote the essay for David Fitzgerald's coffee table book, Oklahoma 3, and that was just an honor. His work is so incredible. And then all the work that I did as Cabinet Secretary of Tourism, I thought I knew the state before that job, and after that I really felt like that I kind of knew the corners of the state as well as its middle. I and bet. so it was a joy to be able to write that. Yeah. And now I'm working on another book called Living Gracefully in the Fullness of God's Grace. And I think all of us face challenges mm -hmm. and difficulties in life, but even when life is good, we can feel just overwhelmed. And uh, experiencing God's grace can really give one a sense of balance and priorities. 
uh, and a faith that makes life better. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So tell us then. Okay, so you've worked for the government. You have. <laughs> you have been crowned Miss USA. You know. I mean, tell us. When you look back over your life, is there a highlight? You have a wonderful oh family. Gosh. Is there a highlight that really? Oh, I think family mm -hmm. is always the highlight. Yeah. You know, having a son. He was actually born on the Fourth of July, the oh, wow. bicentennial year. Oh, wow. uh, he, he is the best thing I've ever done. Oh. He's just wonderful. Now I have two grandchildren. Nice. And fortunately, they don't live in Oklahoma, but oh. but I get to see them. Mm -hmm. uh, but Miss America was was mm -hmm. such a unique experience mm -hmm. uh, that I'm. So so grateful to have had that and, and have good relationships with other Miss Americas, former mm -hmm. Miss Americas now, especially those from Oklahoma. Yeah. And that's very special because we have experienced something unique, just like the Olympic athletes right. experience something unique in their lives, exactly. and that certainly bonds us. I uh, loved the career in, in broadcast journalism, just felt that it made a difference, it suited my skills. Mm -hmm. I loved doing that. Definitely. And then the time when serving Oklahoma uh, was was a true highlight you know for four years I had some insight into how mm. Oklahoma government works yeah. but but m more fun for me was the act of promoting Oklahoma as a great place to visit and therefore a great place to live as well. Well you're definitely an inspiration thank you. Well thank you I enjoyed thank you it. Thank you for joining us and if you'd like to email us some advice or just topics you'd like us to cover, email us at studio at opubco.com. And what's our website? Just go to newsok.com, and your search keyword is ladies' room. And check out our shows, all of our wonderful guests. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.